like an, an entrance to an, something else. Let me see it. I won't go that far. I wonder what's out here. So apparently the water was like that flooded. That's crazy, right? These are formation from the flood, from Noah's, but the flood from Noah. So if history repeats itself, then this is how high the water is gonna be. Okay, now doesn't that look like a cave into something? A lot of energy in there. Okay, there's definitely an access to something. Whoa, what is that? I wouldn't be surprised if that is a doorway. That may actually be a gateway or a doorway to something. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, let's go a little closer and we'll see. All right, today's episode is going to be super, super interesting. It's like pretty wild what I'm experiencing and um, you would have to watch more, more to comment to kind of understand what I'm talking about and also it'd be better if you have Moldavite and worked with Moldavite to really understand like what we're all experiencing right because Moldavite went viral a lot of people are waking up the energy in the stone is just so so powerful like right? I've never worked with a crystal before where I'm just like pulled towards it it's like you can't you can't take your eyes out of it. It's, it's an energetic pull, right? And so I posted, like, so back last year when I was, like, getting a bunch of Moldavite and I was, like, activating. I just felt called to go activate these Moldavites at certain vortexes, portals. And I had no idea what was going on, right? So I had a teacher for a year to help me do this energy work, cut these cords. And so, remember... The clearer you are as a channel, the more you can tune yourself into the energies of crystals. And it could be any crystal. But for the one that really gravitated towards me, it was Moldavite. Right? So, so much Moldavite was like in my field. It was like kind of taking over in a way. It was leading to me all these sacred sites. And now I look back at my seven month journey grinning across the US. Sometimes, like my conscious is way up there. I look back and say, like, Did I really do all of that? All of gridded all these secret places? Um, I was there, but it just kind of all felt like a dream. And so I gridded eight around the US, and one of the locations was the Grand Staircase. I didn't think too much of it. It's like, Oh, this is random. Mm, this Grand Staircase is not like even a, a popular spot, I've never really heard of it. But I was pulled to go there and then buried a Moldavite in that location. So now, when I come back and I watch more of combat, the Temple of Light, that scene where they're, these uh, chosen ones were led to this temple, it kind of really looked like the Grand Staircase, the location. Remember, okay, so Mortal Kombat really came through, right? Mortal Kombat is all about this dragon and like the chosen ones, right? And I feel like the chosen ones are the 144,000 light workers. And it's referenced in the Bible because 144,000 is the number we need to shift Earth out of this uh, lower frequency to have this tipping point, right? So 144,000 light workers. And you know if it's you, if you have this inner calling that is uh, pulling you towards something much greater, right? Remember, 
We all came here with a soul contract, like a mission that we need to help Earth shift into this new Earth. Because right? randomly this week, I was just scrolling through my videos and something pulled me to that video to post. And I also shared about, so where the Grand Staircase was is where the flood happens around the Noah's Ark. So lately I've been getting a lot of um, apocalyptic dreams as well. Something about a great flood. Right? One of my, uh, one of the persons connected to the grid actually came and shared with me that she's getting some kind of hits about a flood and she's getting pulled to Mount Shasta. So that was one. Another dream that I'm getting, like this is just yesterday. I've been practicing lucid dreaming and uh, in a way I feel like it's remote viewing. So this past week, two weeks, all the mobile mice wanted to be in the room, sleeping with me, right? So I had it all spread out. And we're talking like, I, I would advise people like, okay, if it's too powerful, put your moldavite away because you would get vivid dreams. But now I'm a guy that like, have all the moldavites in the room. So this past week, I'm getting very, very vivid dreams of some kind of training. And um, it feels like I'm in training for some kind of battle. Because I would wake up sore with a backache, neck pain, and to a point where I was actually swelling last week. And so I had to go to the chiropractor and get myself adjusted. It's like, where is all this ache, aching coming from? Like, I haven't even really worked out. So uh, what's also interesting is the women in the Moldavite Master Program, all three of them share that they've been waking up achy as well, like back pains. And um, and they haven't really worked out either. So it, it like they shared like they ever felt like there's some kind of battle. So remember... Those who are closely connected me, connected with me, they're uh, they can be experiencing very similar things as me, as I'm experiencing these um, in a dream state. So they're clo they're more closely connected. You can put it that way. And so, remember, I was not a Marvel fan. I was not a superhero comic fan before any of this. The only movie I really enjoyed was Wonder Woman. Right. Comics books are great, Spider-Man, Superman, Batman, like that's great, but I was like, never really a fan. And uh, it kind of just all fell on my lap when Moldavite came into my life. So with that being said, um, the dreams have been very vivid lately. And it wasn't until I watched Mortal Kombat, I didn't even know it was out. The only time that I really got the hit that was out was when I... Uh, I took a I went I took a photo shoot and coincidentally, my photographer had to reschedule to a different date and end up being on the spring equinox and was at the temple. But when we went out to that um, to do that shoot, I just remember telling him like I feel like there's a lot of energy coming in tonight and we're gonna get some really really amazing pictures. And Lord behold, this is one of the best photo shoots I've got and it looks like so badass like all right this is interesting this is very cool I just knew I just wanted to take a picture in my um ao yai which is a traditional Vietnamese dress and with my rice hat and so when the photos came out we shared it in um, um a photography group and someone commented commented that hey this looks like Mortal Kombat and so for me it's like Mortal Kombat where did that come from so random Lo and behold, they just released a trailer for Mortal Kombat. And I'm like, what in the world? This looks very interesting. It kind of reminds me of Mortal Kombat. So I didn't think too much of it. It's like, okay, that's great. I'm going to watch it. I see some correlation here. Remember, dragons, right? I've been talking about dragons all this time. Ever since I came back from Zion, I got a set activated. All of a sudden, dragons are showing up on my field. So I only got 15 activated at Zion. Three I sold. And 12 I kept for the grid. So this is a 13.5 gram Moldavite activate at Zion. Museum grade. Dragon energy all over the place. And what also came to me is like, okay, so you did more combat. These outer world people are coming in and breaking the rules, right? So one of the dreams I had last night... 
I feel like it was like more of a lucid dream, remote viewing dream. But I remember seeing CERN. If you haven't heard of CERN, it's like this facility who do particle um, experiments where like they try to open black holes. I really felt like they opened some kind of portal and they're letting all these like interdimensional beings in, right? Not the good ones. So all these aliens or bad aliens are coming in and infiltrating Earth. To the point where I feel like Bill Gates has act is actually a clone or some sort, right? Because if you look at what he's doing, he's actually trying to take over all our food supply. There's four in our water. There's a ton of GMO in our food. To the point where it's hard to us, hard to us to avoid this stuff, right? So the only way to really go about it is like buy organic stuff, which can get very expensive. Or you can train your body, clear, be a clearer. The clearer you are as a channel, the easier you can transmit this energy. So I would always pray for the food to change the water molecules, even with drink. Every time I drink something, I would like pray to it uh, and change the water molecules. So if you go to church, or why people at church they pray, going through the third eye, their hand energy is coming out, and they're, ch they're changing the structure of the food. Oh, yeah, so with the start opening the, the portal. That reminds me of the scene in Mortal Kombat where there are international beings going in and breaking the laws, breaking the rules. And so the 12 from Zion I got, I keep getting this message that they're the elders of Zion. In a way, they're protecting the space. This, um, I really do feel like there's a force field around my house with so much energy. We actually got a dog lately. It's a, it's a guard dog, actually, a puppy. And it's so random because we have a cat. I know cats are guardians of the spiritual realm. But when it comes to dogs, dogs are guardians of the physical realm. So I remember when um, I was doing plant medicine in Costa Rica, they had like four, three or four dogs right around the area. And in a way, they're kind of protecting, shielding us from, I don't know, other beings as everyone is purging and healing. So that was one. Uh, yeah, so we randomly got a dog this past month, and Moon, my cat, I noticed every night at 3 a.m. around the witching hour, she would wake up and, like, start meowing really loudly, and she would purr, get my body, and, like, purr, and sometimes her, her paws are really cold. It's so fascinating, because I know between 3 to 5 a.m. is their veil is thin, thin between both worlds. And so I just got the message that Moon is, you know, guiding Lost Spirits home. And I'm opening up different grids to call in different angels to guide them home. I remember with the whole COVID thing, there's a lot of lost souls out. And with the full moon that just passed, the super moon, there's a lot of energy in the background that we can't see. But when you're attuned, you can sense in, uh, you can feel it. Okay, what else? Yeah, so I feel like in a way, these, um, the one from Zion are actually shielding me and like preventing these interne interdimensional beings to getting close, right? They, these are the elders. So that was my, that was the hit I got. But, and I noticed dragons are coming up a lot too with the, uh, the people who's worked with Moldai for a long time. You can see like there's something about dragon that keeps showing up for them as well. So I do believe there's some correlation with Dragons, Moldavite, and Mortal Kombat. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you're experiencing all these vivid dreams. Lately, the dreams have been very vivid. Where I actually remember most of my dream. As if I'm waking up into a different dimension. And then going back and I wake up into this body. So, um, and remote viewing has been happening a lot too. So let me know what you're experiencing. With all this energy work. With all these Moldavites. I remember... I only want your feedback if you work with Moldavite, right? Right. I'm not here to seek approval for anybody who hasn't worked with Moldavite because you won't understand it unless you work with Moldavite. That's my only word of advice to you, right? Go invest in a Moldavite and you'll know what we're talking about. Okay, well, that's it. I'll keep you guys updated on what other I'm experiencing. It's been really wild lately in the dream state. I really feel like we are training. Oh, and with the one that I buried at the Grand Staircase, I felt like 
every time I'm dreaming, like it's pulling me back to that location and going through some kind of portal to kind of train. I do feel like there's a lot of energy there. Uh, and it's connected to the grid. Also been connected to Mount Shasta. So in my dream state, I've been traveling all over the place interdimensionally. But that's it. There's no really science to back this up. It's all intuition. It's all energy. And it's all meditation and remote viewing. All of this is real. Science hasn't really proven it yet. But, you know, if it's coming out in your dreams, trust your intuition and just go from there. I think there's more to what we are being fed. And one of the guides I get lately is like, if we won't really clean up our act, I think Earth is on a, a verge of a wipeout. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just leave it with that. But let me know what you are experiencing. Uh, waking up aching and anything in your dreams. But that is all I have for you guys today. Mortal Kombat, Moldavite, and Dragons. Uh, that's it. I will talk to you soon. Timmy Do, signing off. Thank you.